Hello folks, hey the old fisherman back with you. We had a great day on Lake Monticello today. And now I'm gonna show you how I fillet my fish and clean them whole of my crappies anyhow. We're gonna do crappies cleaning today. And uh, I'm gonna show you my techniques. I do it with a regular knife. I don't use an electric knife. But a crap is a little bit harder to fillet than some of the other fish. But I'm gonna show you how I do mine. Y'all bear with me. Hey, first of all, we're gonna take this fine, fine crappie right here. A nice crappie by two pounds. And I'm gonna show you how I fillet that crappie. We're gonna have him for dinner. But uh, I go in behind the head right here and I cut down and then I turn my knife and I hold it right against the, uh, the backbone and I try to go right against the bone. And then I go about halfway down and I stick my knife all the way through and take it tight all the way down. See, a crap is wide, so if you don't do it like that, you might mess some of the uh, meat up. So now, I'm gonna take it and just cut right through that rib cage. Easy, right on down. And we come up with a piece of filleted crappie with the skin on it. I leave the scales and the skin on it at this point. Now I'm gonna lay that to the side and we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna go in right behind these, the gill plate and go down. Okay, we're gonna turn our knife and we're gonna go right against the, the, the ribs and the backbone and right on out. We we'll come up with a nice piece, one side of the crappie, okay? Now, a lot of people throw this away right here. I don't throw it away. That is really good fried, and I like to gnaw on the tail, gnaw on the uh, fins. So what I'll do is I cut that off, chop it off, and we'll throw the gut to the head side there. Try that old, you got a nice piece of fish to eat. Okay, now, at this point, we're going to take the crappy filet right here. And I'm going to take my knife right in the tail part, right between the skin and the meat, and I'm going to work it gently all the way through, all the way. We're cutting this, the, the skin off of this filet is what we're doing. So what I'm talking about is the skin of the filet. And now we've got this piece right here. Now we're going to cut the rib cage out right through here and right through here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll take it right on the side of the rib cage, and cut down, and then I'll go over here. I don't want to waste any meat. And I'll cut on that side also. Makes a little V in a crappie. <clears throat> and that's what you end up with right there. A nice piece of filet. Now at this point, to fry these like I like to fry them, you can cut little pieces like that is what I like to do. Little nuggets. And then you got something fit to eat right here. On a big crappie, that's the way I do. It fries up really good. Okay? Now, on a, a smaller crappie, like say for instance, this size. Not much bigger than your hand. What I like to do with them is you can take and fillet them the same way but a lot of people want those scales. So I'll scale the scales off of them. Both sides and underneath the, the edges like that. And then what I do is I cut down on each side of the fin. I don't like those fins right there. I like to leave the tail on it because I like to know on the tail. But I'll cut each side and then I'll, once I got it cut, I'll kind of push and see the fin comes out. And the boom, okay? Throw that to the side. Then we go to the bottom of it. Do the same thing. The bottom fin. Cut on each side. And we kind of push it and it comes out. Same way. See that? Comes right out. <coughs> so now, I cut across his head. And then I take the intestines out. And right is the reason them fish don't want to bite. You see, you got a little bit of uh, shad in there. That's why they don't want to bite. Now we'll notch on each side. And you end up with a nice little filet. I'll do one more for you. We're gonna take another big crappie. This size, right here. 
and we're gonna cut down. And we're gonna cut right on out. Go on each side. You end up with a piece like this, with scales on it, okay? We're saving the backbone, so I'm gonna cut that off, same way I did a while ago. You end up with this. All right, now, we get the filet, start at the tail, between the scales and the skin and the meat, right on through, like that. And this is what you end up with. Okay, see that piece? Beautiful little piece of meat. All right, we V it out the same way I did a while ago. And that's what you end up with. Just a beautiful piece of meat. All right, folks. Hey, we're back with you. I had a delay. Carson come a riding up on me on the golf cart and messed my whole video up. But anyhow, we're back in square one. I'm taking this piece of filet I got left over and we, we going ahead and cutting it off. Carson comes over two times a day. Wants to aggravate me and wants to eat supper. Every day at supper time he shows up. But anyhow, let's get back to filet. We can take and cut this rib cage out. All right. And you end up with a mighty fine piece of meat people that will make you want to slap your mama you might get in trouble so don't slap your mama but that'll make you want to slap your mama now we're going to do another filet getting getting a little bit smaller now but that's still a nice cracker we're going to try it again down by the head by the gill plate down at the bottom go to the backbone turn the knife and you go right out like that okay do it again on that side Go to the backbone, turn your knife, and go right out to the back, all the way down to the tail, and there you go. Then you take, not to waste anything, we're going to cut this uh, backbone out, and we like to, down here in the south, south kakalaki, we fry that, okay? And we call it crappy, not crappie. For you people that don't think I know the difference between the two, it's just how you raise it, how you call it. Now we're gonna fillet this joker right on out. Smooth and easy. There's your skin, throw it away. Then you come up with the rib cage and we're gonna make that little V. We're gonna cut that rib cage out. You can leave it in, but I don't like bones. And just about everybody eats with me don't like bones unless it's the backbone. You can take that and, and, and eat it pretty easy. Okay, then you end up with a crappy fillet. And what's unique about a crappy filet is you got that little strip on the back side. That's what's unique about a crappy filet. Now, we're gonna do one more. We might do several more, but we're gonna do another one. Now this one ain't real big, but we're gonna filet him. We gotta get enough for supper. Carson probably come over and eat all my fish. So cut right down to the backbone, right on out. And folks, you can do the same thing with the backbone on this smaller one, too. See that? All right. Then we we'll go right to the tail, right on out. Trim it out. Right on up. Got the skin again. And we always cut the rib cage out. Like this. Mighty fine eating right there. Mighty fine. All right, let's go ahead and trim these other pieces we got filleted up and get it all in the pot. Got cool water here. When I throw them in there, it's in cool water in the pan. And it firms up the meat. It makes them cold. See there? That's what I'm talking about. One more. One more fillet left here. One more side. All right, it don't take me very long to do this. I could be faster, but I'm talking, losing my focus. All right, nice filet. One more now, the way I scale them, I'll show you how I've done that. We cut the backbones out. 
I mean the back fins out and the bottom fins out. We scale the fish both sides. Cut on each side of the fin. Push and the whole fin comes out. See that? That's what I'm talking about? The whole fin comes out. Then you go on the bottom fin, cut on each side. Push and that one will come out. Just like that. Then you go whack him across the head. Take the intestines out. You can see how fat these crap is all over there. They get plenty to eat in that lake. Right there, he's got a stomach slam full of little shad. And when I do that, I like to notch them on each side. And it, caught, it makes that grease fry on in there and it really makes it really good. Hey. Appreciate y'all being with me. Thanks for watching the Old Fisherman videos. And go to stevecomelina.com to buy, buy your t-shirt, your hat, whatever. Go to my store. Hey, appreciate your support. Thumbs up, please. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next trip.